this is actually uh, something that I talked about a very very long time ago with actually a couple of teammates way back when I was scrimming in Overwatch when I was playing as not as a coach but when I was playing as a player uh, one of my teammates was very very obsessed about this and that was the advantages and disadvantages you can get from equipping certain skins in Overwatch. Hello and beautiful, a lovely gamers as always, my name is Jonal. First of all, if it sounds a little bit weird, I have some uh, weird stuff with my mouth currently, that's some uh, infections and stuff like that, uh, which happens to some genetic stuff that's in my family, so uh, that's why I might be sounding a little bit weird. Uh, second of all, uh, we hit 20,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you, thank you uh, so much for the amazing support over all those years. This is absolutely uh, an amazing journey to have been on and to hopefully continue with you on in the future uh, of course uh to celebrate that uh we the discord staff uh at our discord server which link in the description is doing a giveaway uh so in the comment section of this video uh, go and type star staff and heart uh, also remember to like and subscribe to the channel and join the discord community so that we know uh who is kind of a member of the community and you will be a part uh, of a giveaway there will be uh, after you have liked uh, and commented on this video and upcoming videos i will compile all of those comments on the different videos into a list and then i will sort so the more videos you comment on only once per video of course uh, the better chance you have of winning this giveaway we'll be giving away as i understand it from one of our staff members uh, a copy of overwatch including um including 200 uh, owl tokens so comment stuff heart down in the comment section of this video as seen on the screen go over to discord server and so do the same thing just so we know that you're participating in our uh, giveaway channel which you can see just so we know who's a part of it and then hopefully i wish you the best of luck and hope that you win uh, of course liking the video and subscribe to your channel turning on pen notification all that stuff also helps promote the video uh, in the algorithm helps make this content more seen and that's also very much appreciated now, in Overwatch, there's only one skin that's really pay-to-win. Um, and you can argue about using the word pay-to-win. Uh, what essentially it means is, it is not pay-to-win the fact that it actually gives you a stat advantage, or that it has, like, a major difference. If not, then you would see everybody abusing it on the ladder. Uh, but what it does is, Hansos, Okami, and Lone Wolf skins actually do give a, a, a general game advantage. In the fact that the wolf head is bigger and therefore blocks far more of the screen. So if the dragon is flying towards you, uh, without the skin, you can actually see through the dragon. You can actually see people moving. You can actually hit shots through the dragon if you have to. It doesn't block as much. But with your common normal skin, it actually blocks LOS significantly. So sending it towards uh, players, a point actually doesn't just work as near denial. It also breaks LOS for a lot of people. Which actually is a gameplay advantage uh, that you can have. It's a minor one. It's not something that is incredibly uh, just completely bonkers. But it actually is a minor uh, game design that I find a little bit weird. Now, and then there are the other ones that I personally don't agree. And I want to talk a little bit about why I think that these are wrongs. So, certain Overwatch skins have different head hitboxes equipped. So, if you look at this standard... Uh, Saria skin, for example, uh, and you compare it to one of the Arctic skins, on the Arctic skins, her hitbox is actually uh, bigger. Her hitbox seems to be larger, uh, which some people take as don't use the Arctic skins. Now, the hitbox are the same, but it looks bigger, which some people claims makes it easier to land headshot, which I personally think is stupid. The same if you take a look at the Griefar skin and you take a look at... Um, uh, some of the other skins where Reinhardt is not wearing a helmet, his headed box is easier to see. And some people say that that actually does that if you use something like uh, Griefhard, you actually has an advantage compared to other players because you can't effectively and easily see his head head box and it would be hard to find, hard for you to click on. And actually the same goes for, uh, and this is like significant, like if you see them side by side, um, the normal Genji skin versus something like the Illidan skin. The Illidan skin is much larger when it comes to hitbox and hair. And some people therefore claims that it is easier to spot and again easier to hit because it's a bigger stimulus for your eyes. I've always said that these are 
uh, very false. And, and here's why. Even though you can arguably say that they look bigger, they're easier to spot. Like, I don't think you can argue that it is uh, harder, that it, that it is actually harder to find something green on green than something gray and white on gold. I think that's, uh, or other skins are better examples of this in Reinhardt skins. Uh, and in the Illidan Genji, it is significantly, it is, his box is not bigger, but it is bigger. Like, you can see it side by side. It is significant. There is a size difference um, to, to how large it is. And my point is that if that... The, the the disadvantage you get from equipping such a skin, if you want to call it a disadvantage, or the advantage you get from playing against such a skin, is so minuscule that I don't think it would make a difference in the long run. Like it's not like it, it may be in a in a you know over maybe a couple of hundred shots you land three headshots more, maybe, maybe you spot him a little bit earlier, but generally, especially when we start climbing to high elos. Uh, pro players and, and high level players, they don't need that to hit. Like, they shoot at head height. Um, and, and they... It's not like they are, like, you know, analyzing the body of the opponent and then taking the shot. They know where the hitboxes are. They pre-aim those heights. Uh, and by muscle memory, they shoot at those heights. So, you don't really think about what skins you're coming up against when you're playing those high elos. Could it make a difference in lower elos? Again, No. Because in lower elos, they don't have the control, in my opinion, to... Again, this comes from somebody that private coaches a lot. Has private coached hundreds of hundreds of individuals, has worked with contenders teams. The difference for a low elo player, right? So I've worked with high elo players in Euro 4.6k, played in contenders, that kind of stuff. And I've also worked with bronze players. I still do. Um, and everything in between. In lower elos, they don't have the control to make those accurate moves. And the difference between them making the hitting or missing a shot is not the head hitbox is more visible. They miss shots because they're looking at the ground, they're not preying the same height, they don't have the muscle memory or mechanics to do so. In high lows, they don't need uh, that advantage because their aim is so consistent already. Uh, and in anything in between there, the the aim is so fluctuating and so inconsistent when it comes to headshots that it is like, it's either muscle memory and it's just how good that muscle memory is, it's how good that accuracy is that makes a difference not which skins you're facing against. I understand some people really like to try to milk every single advantage out of that, and trust me, I'm the same. I really focus on getting every single advantage out of every position I can do. Min-maxing stuff is what I love, but this isn't it. What is it, as I talked about earlier, the Hanzo skin or Kami and Lone Wolf actually does give a significant dragon uh, size. Uh, comparison, right, so the wolf is just so much larger and blocks so much less, and a lot of people actually don't know that, uh, because a lot of people haven't seen it, like, side-by-side -side comparison, uh, so I hope uh, this was at least somewhat educational, and again, for the people that, again, agree or disagree, comment section, like, subscribe to the channel, turn up the notification, if you want to rank up and improve and get better at the game, you can hire me as your private coach, it's 50 euros for a two-hour session, it also helps support me and the channel financially, link down in the description, and of course my Twitter and Twitch, drop me a follow, I'm actually soon, very very soon, very excited, building a new computer, I've ordered the majority of the parts, just waiting for the GTX uh, 3080 to stop being scalped, uh, and then I'll be able to buy one, um, at a normal retail price, I'm not paying scalpers anything, uh, for that car. I don't want to support that practice, so I am uh, waiting for that to come out and then I'm building one hell of a gaming setup and hopefully I can start streaming again, uh, as I won't be suffering for FPS performance issues uh, and like dropping frames and having input lag because my computer can't handle the stream and the game at the same time, which is fun, right? Um, so stay tuned for that, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, all that good stuff, link down in the description. Thank you guys so much again for 20,000. I'm working on some 20 on the 20,000 subscriber special. Just hang in there. Uh, please do take care of yourself. Stay positive. Wear a mask. Tell somebody that you love them. And as always, my journal. You guys keep the enemy in your crosshair. <laughs>